tired, both my poor eyes hurt. You will drag me out of bed, and I will drive us all the way to church. Don't you know she is my favorite girl? Wanna run away? 
wait for days with her And if you promise not to say a thing I'm gonna buy that girl a diamond ring I said, ooh, I think I love you Ooh, I think I love you I love you My favorite girl By surprise And I just didn't know What I was missing Till you opened my eyes And hey Maybe we could stay Maybe we could lay Like this forever And don't you know She is my favorite girl I wanna run away For days with her And if you promise not To say a thing Gonna buy that girl a diamond ring I said, ooh, I think I love you Ooh, I think I love you, I love you My favorite girl You know she is my favorite girl Wanna run away for days with her And if you promise not to say a thing I'm gonna buy that girl a diamond ring I said, ooh, I think I love you Ooh, I think I love you
remain standing for just a moment, if you would. We're gathered here today, the family and friends of Justin Andrews and Lacey Frazier, in the sight of God, to support them as they make these vows of marriage. It's a time when we celebrate with them the love that they've found for each other and support their decision to commit themselves to each other for the rest of their lives. Each one of you are special to them, and they're really blessed that you're here to share this beautiful moment on this beautiful afternoon with them. Let's pray together. Father, we come to you today and ask that you smile down on Justin and Lacey. We thank you for bringing them into each other's lives, and just as we have looked to you for guidance as we prepared for today, we invite you into this ceremony right now, and I pray that your mighty name would be over them, over this ceremony as we begin, and I also pray that you'd bless and inspire their families and friends as they witness this precious time of commitment in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. You can be seated now. Who gives this woman in marriage today? Her mother and I do. Very good. Thank you. Come on, I'm up here. Justin and Lacey, it's been my pleasure to, and blessing to stand here today in this moment in your lives. We've been talking together in anticipation for this day for the last several months. And I've had a chance to get, you know, as a, to get to know you as a couple and also as two individuals that are very unique. I have an appreciation for the remarkable qualities that each of you bring to this marriage. And I'm blessed to be able to stand here with you today. This is a day that you both anticipated for a long time and now we are here before your family and your friends, most importantly before God as you prepare to exchange the vows of marriage. We have a really special moment now I want to ask you guys to face each other. You looking forward to this? You've, Justin and Lacey have written letters to each other in anticipation of this day and they haven't seen them yet. But they're going to read them to each other just as a, a very personal touch. And I want to start with you, Justin. Take this letter you've written, written for Lacey. I'll hold the mic. All right. Lacey, I thank God from the moment you laid those beautiful brown eyes and that stunning bright smile on me when we started working together. I knew you were the girl I've been waiting for my entire life. But then the hard part came, and I didn't know how or what I needed to do to have a woman like you like a guy like me. The next few days, through deep thought and endless nights of sleep, thinking about you, I knew, I knew spending your birthday with you was this great way to express my never-ending love and joy that brought me to my senses on how a woman can change a boy to a man. The first weeks we spent together, I knew I fell in love with you. The connection was so strong and meaningful, I felt like I'd known you my entire life. Uh, nothing in this world made me more happier than the day I asked you to be mine. What a journey we have embarked to raising our two beautiful children, Noah and Kinsley. They're a light in our eyes and everything that completes us as a family. Watching you raise them only makes my love and passion for you grow more and more powerful. And watching Kinsley in the car cry for you when your steps away makes my heart melt and realize how much she needs her caring mother every step of the way. And to see Noah treat you like the gentle boy that he is only proves me that every boy needs his mom in his arms. <clears throat> I promise to protect you and our children for as long as I shall live. And it's truly a blessing and honor to have you as the mother of our children. <clears throat> I, promise that you, that, I, I promise you that my love for you will never be replaced and most definitely won't be misplaced. You have the only key to my heart and a lifelong devotion of love and happiness that can be offered to one couple. There's no question that your love has made me the man I am today and the stronger man I'll be tomorrow. Our love has made us to the ups and downs and brought us closer than we both could have imagined. Every day spent with you is a confirmation to my heart that you're the woman I choose to grow old with. I can't imagine this life without you, looking at those beautiful brown eyes, that stunning bright smile. I've been courageously waiting for you for this day my entire life and looking forward to what this life has taught for us. Have a look. <laughs> I 
this is. Okay. Justin, I have loved you since the week that we hung out nonstop for my 21st birthday. We have always had a connection Hi, buddy. that runs so deep that I can't even begin to describe it. We have had our ultimate highs together and also our ultimate lows. But no matter how high or low, we have always been drawn right back together. You are my everything, my best friend, my soulmate, the best father I could ever ask for, for Noah and Kinsley, and the love of my life. I can't picture living the rest of this journey that we like to call life without you by my side. I always had the idea that true love may exist and that people might be made for each other, but when we fell in love, I was and am convinced that God made you for me and me for you. When I look into your baby blue eyes, I see so much more than just a ridiculously handsome man. I see our future and all the promises that I would like to tell you and keep until we are old and gray. I would like to promise to give you all of me for the rest of our lives. You have my heart, my soul, and every fiber of my being will live to show God, you, and our two precious babies how much love I have to give. I promise to always hold your hand and always kiss you goodnight. I will always be there for you and support you through all, all of your exciting and hard times. I promise to hold you accountable to God's word and desires because your eternity matters more to me than my own. I will be the best wife and mother that you could ever ask for. I will be your comfort through the storm and the light when it passes. I promise to date you for the rest of our lives with a passion and desire just like the day it all began. I promise to learn from my mistakes and hold your opinion in the highest regard. I will take advantage as of as many movie nights with you and Jax as I possibly can. Um, I promise to always look at the way you dance with Kinsley and wrestle with Noah and melt inside every single time. I will always be impressed with your gardening skills and the way you fix things around the house that I spend hours looking at in confusion. I will always look at you and think, wow, he's such a stud. I am so blessed to be marrying such an amazing we wonderful man on this day. Just like Noah and Kinsley have been so blessed to have such a caring, genuine, loving father. When I look into Noah and Kinsley's baby blue eyes, I see so much more than a yes. I see so much more than a couple of adorable children. I see such an exciting future and a list of promises that I would like to tell them and keep as long as I'm able. Noah and Kinsley, I promise to be the best mommy that I can be and learn and grow from all my parenting mistakes. Um, I will show you, your daddy and I will show you what true love means by always showing you how much we love each other. Um, I will always put you and your daddy's needs before my own, always. I promise to be the Christian mother and example that you deserve and to always hold you accountable for God's word and desires because I care about your eternity even more than I care about my own. I promise to always hug and kiss you goodnight and to always say our special prayer. I will always provide a loving and caring home for you where you and your daddy can feel safe and know that you have refuge. I will always be your cheerleader and your number one fan, but I can't promise not to embarrass you. I will always melt when you tell me or your daddy that you love us. I will always chase you around the house and dance you around while you let me. You two and your daddy are my everything and my world has revolved around you and our little family. I promise to always remember the special moments we are living every single day and to cherish you too. I will always, or I could not ask for a better little team to go out and conquer the world with. And I promise to always see us in that light. You guys put the smile on my face and the beat in my heart. I am so in love with my life because God has blessed me with the pure joy of being Justin, your new wife, and Kinsley and Noah, your mommy. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. That was awesome.
look beautiful. Oh, good job. <laughs> we made it. Now we come to the most important part of this ceremony, the promises that you're going to make now or for the rest of your life. They are binding and holy before God. They extend into the future until death takes one of you away from the other. Please turn and face each other as you're doing <laughs> and make these vows of marriage. Do you, Justin, have this woman whose hand you now hold to be your wedded wife and solemnly promise that you will loyally fulfill your obligation as her husband to protect her, honor her, love her, and cherish her in adversity as well as in prosperity. I do. And keep yourself unto her alone <laughs> so long as you both shall live. I do. You do. <laughs> Justin is very eager today. I'm excited. <laughs> And you, Lacey, you have this man whose hand you now hold to be your wedded husband and solemnly promise that you will fulfill your obligation to Justin to be unto him a loving and true wife in sickness and in health and to be faithful to him so long as you both shall live. I do. I believe we have some rings. <laughs> there we go. There, thank you. Oh my gosh. Wedding rings are a sign to the world around us that you're married people. They're made out of precious metal because you're precious to each other. They tell the world that you have each other even when you're out there by yourself. This ring is a symbol to those that you run into that there's another half to this guy. Might not be here right now, but he has another half. And for you, Lacey, when they meet you, that you're spoken for, that you have another half, you have a partner in your life, that you're a married woman. They're also a reminder to you of this day when you stood here on this beautiful, beautiful, wonderful, perfect Big Bear afternoon <laughs> with all these people that you love so much and you promised yourself to each other. This ring made, made, it, made it always remind you of this moment. Justin, take the ring that you have selected for Lacey and place it on her wedding finger as you repeat these words. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For richer and for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. Lacey. <laughs> take the ring that you've selected for Justin. Place it on his wedding finger and repeat these words. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For richer and for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. Thanks, babe. Awesome. We have a couple of uh, symbolic things we're going to do right now. First. <clears throat> Justin and Lacey are going to go and light the unity candle that their mothers lit at the beginning of the ceremony. I haven't turned around to look, but how many think they'll still be lit? <laughs> and if they aren't, they'll light them again. And it's just a symbol that these two families are being joined into one as this marriage is one before God today. And then there are communion elements, and Justin is going to lead Lacey through communion. And remember the Lord and his sacrifice for them is the very first thing they do now as a married couple. Go ahead. Let's take a moment to just pray for them. Bow, bow your head. I Just feel like this yeah, is there. Hold it. Okay. Do I like the second yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. Ouch. There we go. I think that's good. Okay. Okay. Oh, bottom. Okay. Okay. Bread first. Okay. Thank you for your day, Lord. Thank you for blessing us on a beautiful day. Uh, I look forward to our future. Thank you for blessing our two beautiful children. Everything that we have and giving us a blessed way. Amen. Okay. 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 Okay.
to the blood that he showed. Guess we'll just go first flush. Bubbles coming. Wait a second. pray for a blessing on you guys and your marriage now that you're married. And I, I, I wonder if it's possible for Noah and Kinsley to come up here now. Do you think so? Would you like to come up here, Noah? You guys can hold them if you want. I don't know if you can. We got it? All right. Okay, come right over here in the middle. We're going to pray for your family, okay? We're going to pray for all of you. God, we want to pray your blessing on Justin. Give him strength of character he's going to need to lead this family. God, give him the love that he needs that only you can give, a love that regards others' needs as more important than his own. May Justin's love for Lacey only grow with the passing of each day. He may find purpose and fulfillment and happiness in her arms the rest of his life. God bless Lacey. Increase her capacity to love. Give her a tender spirit to support and encourage Justin in the challenges that lay ahead for both of them. May the happiness that she finds in this marriage be a testimony to you and may the smile on her face and her radiance draw others to you. God bless Noah and Kinsley. Give Justin and Lacey the specific wisdom that each of them needs. May they always feel love in their home and in their lives. May they be drawn toward you by the faith that they experience from their mom and dad. And God bless the one thing that this marriage represents, the entity that it is unto itself before you. The two have truly become one before you. Protect this marriage from attack. Use this marriage as a beacon of light in their sphere of influence. And may they be an inspiration to those who know them and that see the love that they always share together. Hold them close to you always. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, kids. <laughs> I think we lost the mic too, didn't we? It's okay. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, print, I'm gonna. It's okay. I'll, I'll speak in my loud outdoor voice, okay? For, for as much as you, Justin, and you, Lacey, have openly declared your wishes to be united in marriage, and in the presence of God, and in the presence of these guests, and you've pledged your love for each other, and have confirmed the same by the giving and receiving of rings. I, in accordance with the laws of the state of California, and more importantly as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, do now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. And it's my great pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Justin, Justin and Lacey Andrews.
love the way you love like no other. It's got nothing to do with anything that I do. Time and time again, you forgive me. So this time I choose to stay here with you. Hold me, pull me just a little bit closer. I don't wanna lose this moment. Your love has covered me, and now I can't get over you. I can't get over you. I can't get over you. I just can't get over you. Here in the arms of my father. Only grace can be found, so I lay my fears down. Nothing is the same anymore. You changed me from the inside out. Now my heart is beating and it's singing. Won't you hold me? Pull me just a little bit closer. I don't wanna lose this moment. Your love. Just can't get over you. I can't get over you. I can't get over the way. Please, it's time to bring in our wedding party. All right, first put your hands together for Brittany and Matt. Good stuff. Up under the seat of my big black jack truck. Rolling on 35s. Pretty girl by my side. You got that sun. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Chad and Sarah. Waiting on me to look my way. Thanks to your little hot self over here. Girl, hand me another beer. Yeah. And now Kristen and Ray. Kristen and Ray, ladies and gentlemen. But you look like the kind that likes to take it way out. I wear the cornrows roll. And now we have Chelsea and Nick and Hannah. Put yourself a little catfish dinner. Gonna sound like a winner when I lay you down and love you right. Yeah, that's my kind of night. And now we have our matron of honor, Eve, our best man, Luke, and Danielle. Might sit down on my night, run, play, tailgate, put in my country ride, yeah, hot mix. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our wedding party. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's the reason that we're here. It gives me great pleasure to introduce for the second time Please put your hands together for the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Justin and Lacey Andrews. This taste got a little hang, a little drag, a little something bumping, thump, thumping on the wheel ride. The mix and our drink's a little stronger than you think. So get a grip, take a sip of that feel right. Trucks jacked up, flat bills slip back. Yeah, you can find us where the party's at. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to turn the microphone over to the best man. Perfect. All right, this works for me. All right, guys, my name is Luke Sanders. For you, those of you who don't know me, I think we've had a couple of difficulties uh, earlier with people coming up to me. And give me a congratulations. <laughs> I'm going to make it real easy. All you have to do is look at uh, the left hand. There's a finger on that left hand that has a special band on it. And I am lacking that. So, I can tell you that I'm Lucas. Alright, let's start with that. And then you just say, let's uh, talk about when uh, Justin and Lacey first started dating. Uh, it was great. We met at uh, Friday's. And the funny thing about that is I actually knew Lacey before she met Justin. And it's probably good that she did that because she got to meet the best man. <laughs> and now she knows who the better man is. <laughs> I truly mean that. I truly mean that. All 
All right. Okay. And uh, after all that, um, there was actually a party that we went to. Um, it was a mutual friend's birthday, and I was already there. They showed up a little late. I think they attended something before, um, but um, they were seemed like they were already having a lot of fun. <laughs> they were great. Uh, there was only three statements I think I heard from them that night. And it, it, it's great. It has a lot of contrary to to tonight. And um, Justin and Lacey came to the party. There's seriously three statements. It was, I love her. It was, I love him. And it was, we're gonna get married. <laughs> I'm so glad to have um, have you as my sister Lacey. You're a person. You're kind, passionate, caring, loving, and honestly, I'm glad you're an Andrew. And everyone in the family appreciates it. You make our brother happier in a way that uh, I never could. <laughs> and uh, anyone who put up with Justin as long as you have, has my blessing. <laughs> Bringing up two wonderful children. They're very adorable. Like, I'm so happy to be a part of their lives and see them grow up and have you guys as, uh, as parents as their upbringing. It's exciting to me. Uh, they say true love is your soul's recognition of its counterpart in another. I truly believe Jess and Lacey have found that true love. Now, if you all join me with a toast, the happy couple. The newly Justin and Lacey, and I wish you guys the happiness and the most amazing. Sir, now we're going to hear from the main chairman of all of you. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, could you please raise your glasses to the toast of the bride and groom? Okay, I want to thank everyone for coming today for the marriage of Justin and Lacey. It's been, I mean, a wonderful day. Justin, I'm his stepfather, and I'll tell you, I've known the kid, it seems like for every, he's like my son. I love Justin. I love my new daughter. Welcome to the family. I mean, I really, I'm touched by your beauty, your your family. I think it's a great, I think it's a great joint. Um, this is a lot of planning coming into this. My wife, Julie, has been over the top. I mean, just boom, 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 boom. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. And she's wonderful. And I just want to say a toast to Justin Lake to have a beautiful life from here on out. Amen. Right. Well, I'm the father of the black bride. I've done this a couple of times. Uh, Totally different circumstances. Hey, honey, honey, start over. Can't hear you louder. Start over? Yeah. It's my wife. <laughs> 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 okay. Can't hear you. An appropriate response, yes, dear. What I want to do is thank everybody. I mean, we've had midnight parties, we've had bridal uh, parties that were, like you said, over the top. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, the Kagans that opened up their properties to us. Uh, you know, when uh, Lacey told me, and Lacey and Justin came to me, and they said they want a destination wedding. They wanted to get married under a tree somewhere. And I just, well, I got a tree in the backyard, but, you know. <laughs> and they said, Big Bear, and I'm going, Big Bear? And I think half the people in here said the same thing. But when we found this place, we all fell in love with it. And the people that uh, uh, offered this place to us um, couldn't have been more nicer. We had catering over the top, uh, the flower floors, and the pastor, Pastor Mike Barnes, and he's actually uh, pastoring up here now, a um, good friend of mine for many, many years. But uh, So I want to thank all of you guys for making the trip up here. Uh, I know it was uh, kind of a treacherous road, but uh, you all made it, and I pray, and we've been praying, and make it home the way you got here. So. But... Um, Lacey and Justin, um, you know, I was thinking of things to say, and, uh, you know, first of all, two people that can be more perfectly matched. They're both people pleaser. Uh, Justin um, has a heart of gold, and uh, likewise, so does Lacey. Lacey wanted to be a veterinarian when she was a uh, little girl, because she liked to save pets and whatever, you know, but, <laughs> but they both, they have a heart of gold, and I couldn't think of a person that more would gen I genuinely love my daughter, and um, love my grandkids, and uh, what a blessing they are in our lives, uh, all, my, my, all my grandkids here, but, uh, you know, I love both of you, Justin, um, I've you know, talk to you earlier. When you come into my, when you marry my wife, I'm my daughter. But when you marry my daughter, you know you're part of my family. And anything that me and my wife are, my other family members are my, my daughters and my son and mother. Whatever we can do to help you, or come alongside you, we're there for it. And. Um, and that, you know, but uh, we love you. And we're all here to show our love and uh, support for you. And um, everyone here uh, that's been married for any um, amount of time knows that we all need to support you with our prayers. And uh, 
and support. And that's what we're offering, and our love. And uh, so everyone here, let's raise our, our glasses to the new couple. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed your meal. It's time to begin our formalities. And that first formality is the bride and groom's first dance as husband and wife. So bride and groom. Ladies and gentlemen, here is their song.
Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our bride and groom and their first dance as husband and wife. Next is bride father. So dad, come join your daughter on the dance floor. Bride father. Ladies and gentlemen, here is their song. of his feet smiles of the angels could not be so sweet wide blue eyes and piggy tail swirl she's her daddy's girl cause he knows the jokes that always make her laugh takes her for ice cream instead of her mouth at the end of the day by the light of the moon they turn her Put your hands together for our bride and her father. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. All right, next is groom mother. Groom and mother. Here is their song. I turned on the evening news, saw 
Oh man, being interviewed Turn it a hundred and two today Asked him what's the secret to love He looked up from his old pile Laughed and said all I could say Don't blink Just like that You're six years old And you take a nap And you wake up and you're 25 Then your high school sweetheart becomes your wife Don't blink You just might miss your baby's grow A lot mine did Turning into moms and dads Next thing you know you better have a 50 years is there in bed And you're praying God takes you instead Trust me, friend, a hundred years goes faster than you think So don't blink well, I was glued to my TV when it looked like you looked at me and said Let's start putting first things first Cause when your hourglass runs out of sand You can't rip it over and start again To get the breath God gives you for what it's worth Don't wait Just like that you're six years old And you take a nap and Wake up and you're 25 Then your high school sweetheart becomes your wife Don't wait You just might miss your baby's growing like mine did Turning into moms and dads Next thing you know You better have a 50 years It's there and then And you're praying God takes you instead Trust me friend a hundred years goes faster than you think So don't blame So I've been trying to slow it down I've been trying to take it easy And this here today gone tomorrow world will live in Take a nap and wake up and you're 25 Then your high school sweetheart becomes your wife Don't wait, you just might miss your babies growing like mine dear Turning into moms and dads Next thing you know, you better have a 50 years Is there in bed And you pray and God takes you instead Trust me friend Hundred years goes faster than you think, so don't blink. No, don't. Blink. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the groom and his mother. Thank you very much. All right, bride and groom, back to the dance floor. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our. Honeymoon dance, known to all of you as the money dance. So what we need is a long line of ladies and a long line of gentlemen. Once again, this is their money dance. Please come up and spend a few moments with them. Let us begin. Once again, long line of ladies, long line of gentlemen. Have I told you lately that I love you? Have I told you there's no one else above you? Fill my heart with gladness Take away all my sadness Ease my troubles, that's what you do For the morning sun and all Glory greets the day with hope and comfort too. You fill my life with laughter, and somehow you make it better. Ease my trouble. 
course that's what you do There's a love that's divine And it's yours and it's mine Like the sun And at the end of the day We should give thanks and Have I told you lately that I love you? Have I told you there's no one else above you? Fill my heart with gladness, take away all my sadness, ease my troubles, that's what you do. Perfect. 
Yeah, we have two formalities left. That is the garden and the Line up behind the girl. Single gentlemen or married gentlemen that want to be single just for the night. to one knee in front of your beautiful butt. One knee. One knee, sir. All right, on the count of three, our groom will do his duty. One, two, Hey guys, uh, we could not be more happy for you guys, man. I'm so stoked, Lacey, that you found a guy that I know is going to take care of you the rest of your life the way you deserve to be taken care of. Uh, Justin, we love you, man. Welcome to the family. Uh, what an honor to have such an incredible guy here. Um, and whatever you guys need, man, say the word. We're a phone call away. We love you guys. Hi. <laughs> 
Lazy Ray, you know how much I love you and adore you, and I'm so thankful I get to be a part of your special day. And Justin, I adore you too. I just love you, and thanks for taking care of my girl. Um, I'm just so excited to be in this chapter of life with you and to do marriage together. And um, I'm so excited to just pray for you guys and be there for you and support you and love you. We love you guys. Lacey, we love you so much. We wish nothing but the best for you guys. We will always be here for you guys if you need anybody to talk to. Ditto. <laughs> Ditto. All right, so to Lacey, who's the more important person, and Jay, we all love you. Thank you for having me, my lovely lady Liz, and uh, we'll be here for you in the future. So the best of luck, because you're going to need it. Congratulations! Hi, daughter. Hi, son. Hey, enjoy that cobble trip. We're gonna be watching those babies and wishing we were there. But you guys have the best life. We've had a great life. She's been the best thing to me, and Justin should be the best thing to you too. That's right. All right. And we'll take care of those kids this time. We love you guys, and <laughs> hey, you're gonna pay us back too. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. <laughs> beautiful bride. We just love you both so much. And welcome to the family, Justin. Yeah, happy wedding day and best of wishes, you guys. Mwah. Congratulations, guys. We love you. Woo! Go through the year. Hi Justin, congratulations. We are so happy to be part of your wedding and happy for you guys. We are so excited about everything that's to come and so happy for Noah and Kinsley and your future. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're ecstatic about you guys. Um, we're so uh, so blessed to have you guys in our lives and we're just, uh, we just pray for you guys always and we just uh, thank you for uh, um, just being in our lives and um, letting us be a part of this. Um, God bless. We love you guys.
just want to tell you that I am so happy for you. And Justin, you are the luckiest man in the whole entire world. So I love you guys. I'm so excited to share life with you and double date and triple date. Yeah! And um, we just are so thankful for you guys. We'll be praying for your marriage and for your family. We love you. Bye. Justin and Lacey, this is Mommy. And I love you, baby girl. And Justin, now you're my boy too. So I love you. And I hope these are the trees you hoped for. You wanted a tree. Daddy got you a tree. Love this man. Mm. And I hope that 30, 40 years from now that you can do this for Kinsley and that you guys have the same kind of love that we have. Love you guys. Good night. That's well, a wrap. Well, I don't know about the tree, but uh, <laughs> you know what? You're, you're due. You got Kinsley, you got Noah. They were still in the show tonight. And I could see them falling right in your footsteps. So, you know what? Have a good time. I hope you have a great time in Cabo and uh, a wonderful life together. And you know what? You put the Lord first and he'll make straight your path. And everything else is just, matter of fact, you know, uh, I love you both. Uh, again, we are family. family. <laughs> He's a good, that's good. That's a wrap. That's a wrap.
for our bride and groom. Thanks for All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next song is the last song. They'd like to thank each and every one of you for attending. It was an honor to them that you were here. If you had too much to drink, you're going to end up in the lake, so be careful. Yeah. Thank you very much on behalf of myself and Grace Dark Adrian. It was our pleasure here. What was that last song?
Thank you very much. We'll see you at the anniversary party.